If you've come across this video, it's either because one, you have an Aquatec system, or two, your water is doing one of two things. It's turning brown and or is starting to smell, or your water's fizzy, milky, or cloudy. So you were probably told by a member of Aquatec staff to adjust your Venturi, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what is a Venturi? Well, without getting into the chemistry of it, what it does is it adds air to your water and turns iron, sulfur, and manganese in the water into solids by oxidizing them, and then they're filtered off, and what you're left with is clean water. So now there are three kinds of Venturis. One is this rectangular prism type thing. This is called a hydrocharger. And two, you can see what looks like, uh, you, you're going to see flex tubing. And it forks off into what looks like a spout and a knob, and it forks back into more flex tubing. And this is called a Matsy injector. And the third type is this barrel type device, uh, which kind of is the size of a cup of coffee, and it's made of this dark gray rubber. And all of them have a nut. see right here this one's more like a lever okay. and you have this right here and you'll probably need a, a screwdriver to turn so what they do is that they take air in and there's a suction on all of them you see here's the here's the nut Here's the suction. Here, the suction right here. And this right here. So, those adjustment knobs are nuts. They all function the same way. So, when you turn them counterclockwise, which is the opposite direction of a clock, they take in less air when they're working. So, when they're all the way closed, uh, that's what causes the browning in your water and the smell. So turning it clockwise, the direction a hands go on a clock, you get more air. But if you get too much air, you get uh, fizzy, cloudy, or milky water. So either extreme is kind of bad. So again, counterclockwise, less air, clockwise, more air. So what you ultimately have to do, you got to find something called an equilibrium somewhere in the middle. So you keep adjusting and playing with it until you get a perfect place where your air is neither cloudy nor brown and smelly. So while I'm in the neighborhood, I may as well talk about this valve as well. This is what's called a Brockman valve. You'll see this sitting on top of... Uh, one of our aqua air systems. You see this gray cylinder right here. And it kind of looks like a spool of thread or a bobbin on top of a sewing machine. It's about that size too. And this is an adjustable valve. You see the word open with an open circle and closed with a solid circle. And you see this indentation here. So when this lines up with the indentation, it means it's open. You'll see, I'll just show you, this is adjustable here. So twist, so you can have it so that this aligns with the uh, closed circle. So I'll just put this back. So the idea behind this valve is to reduce pressure in the pipes that connect your system and run from one system to another. And while it is adjustable, the idea is to always have this open by default because if you don't, this can actually reduce the life of your system. So keep that in mind if you see this in any position other than open.